News now from Uttar Pradesh, uh, where it was an unusual sight in a village after a tiger was spotted sitting on a wall there. So you can take a look at that visual. This is some 20 kilometers from the Pilibhit uh, Reserve. A video of this has gone viral now in which a tiger was seen sitting on this brick wall and you can see the hundreds of villagers who've gathered just to watch uh, this tiger. Uh, the incident took place in the Atkhona village located 20 kilometers from the Pilibhi Tiger Reserve. What we do believe is that the tiger has now been tranquilized and removed uh, from here by the forest department. But as you can understand, this is a situation that could have gone in a different direction given you know this massive crowd and if this tiger was more agitated, though as you can see for the moment and the tiger uh, simply licking itself and just uh, seems to be looking at the crowd. Uh, so this and the locals in the area also protested apparently against the forest department. Now to talk more about these situations that we're seeing more and more instances of you know man-animal conflict or uh, wild animals coming uh, to you know villages and. Uh, areas uh, you know where uh, people are living we're now joined by dr arjun gopal swami founder and chief scientist of carnassials uh, global and also kedar gore director of the corbett uh, foundation thank you so much for joining us both and you know while fortunately nothing untoward happened during this particular incident it's just quite fascinating to see these visuals uh, kedar gore first to you uh, what's also very striking is how these hundreds of villagers have surrounded the area reports are that they even protested against the forest department though the crowd was probably more of a challenge for the forest department in this situation yes hi kargi uh, should i start with this yes yeah, sure Okay, uh, this actually uh, is a very worrying situation. Uh, fortunately, as I hear from you that the tiger has been now tranquilized and taken back to the forest. But uh, it's it, it, could, uh, it could have turned out to be a really, really dangerous uh, situation where so many people are looking at it at a close distance, uh, although there seems to be some kind of a fence. However, that doesn't stop a tiger of this size just jumping over the fence and, you know, but fortunately everything went off well. What we need to really worry about is uh, there are clear cut, uh, you know, guidelines and SOPs issued by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and NTCA in how to manage the crowd. Uh, understandably, uh, the Forest Department cannot alone do this on its own. Uh, they need help from the Police Department or any other uh, line department that is there uh, you know, associated with this kind of uh, incidences, uh, and and there needs to be some mock drills as as well. Uh, you know, practiced in some areas which are uh, near the tiger reserves, adjacent to the tiger reserves, because uh, these things can happen anytime. Uh, what particularly baffles me is the uh, is the tiger. I mean, it it isn't showing any kind of stress. It is you know coolly looking at people licking its paws and everything, uh, which which also means that it is used to human beings. Perhaps it is uh, regularly a cattle eater or probably exposed to too much of tourism. There could be a number of reasons. One of the reasons could also be that this tiger could be infected with uh, canine distemper virus. And one of the uh, effects of this uh, CDV is that the animal loses the fear of human beings. Uh, we need to investigate more on this, but Thankfully, the tiger has been tranquilized and taken back. Right, absolutely. Uh, you know, and it is very surprising to see the manner in which uh, the tiger, as you said, not showing stress, just looking back at the crowds. Uh, do Dr. Arjun Kupalaswamy, your comments on this, and and definitely, as uh, you know, was was stated just now, this is a big worry that you know you'll, that we're going to be seeing more of these instances. And as uh, Kedar uh, Gaur said, that we need more awareness in which you know organizations and activists, NGOs, forest department, administration, all come in in these areas which are next to tiger reserves because we do know in Pilibi they've had instances of man-animal conflict of man-eaters as well. Yeah, uh, thank you Garniji for having me here. So uh, we need to first understand the context uh, in which these uh, situations occur. So first, uh, why is a tiger there at all in human habitations? And usually it's not unusual for dispersing tigers, either young males or sometimes even old males, to find to look for alternative habitat sure. because uh, they are, are going to be pushed out of their reserves. But what's important to note is 
what is the context in which uh, this uh, tiger has occurred here and usually in many places around especially the terai arc uh, there are a lot of uh, sugarcane cultivations and there are a lot of prey animals also available near uh, the forested areas within agricultural landscape so if there are wild pigs if there are nilgai hog deer whatever there is uh, tigers are going to be attracted to them so the first context to understand is to prevent such situations in terms of alternative land uses and to better understand where tiger is getting its cover from and many times they do find cover uh, in sugarcane uh, cultivations so there is a larger context in which these must be viewed and um, regarding cover crowd control yes i agree with uh, kishore and also uh, it is generally a very difficult situation uh, and um, the and, and when animals especially carnivores when they are under stress even when they are tranquilized they don't do very well after that uh, because um, there is a lot of adrenaline pumped uh, within its body so um, uh, we have to see the condition of the tiger after this and i will not get into these one off incidents sometimes the tiger uh, tigers appear extremely anxious sometimes they are relaxed we also need to see how long for the tiger has been here but i presume this has happened overnight and when it's uh, surrounded by right. people and fences so i guess it would be uh, probably in a relaxed state because it really has no other option so uh, but so that, i wouldn't yeah, second that that was just a comment because it's very surprising and unusual you know to see that sort of visual of this tiger sitting there and this mass hundreds of people like surrounding it and and really it, it it's lucky that the tiger didn't get stressed or you know jumped into the crowd because we've seen those visuals as well in the past anyone who's followed tiger conservation in the country very often we've seen tigers running through crowds and you know people just falling on the sides and 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 that has also happened so thankfully that didn't happen uh, and a final word to you uh, uh, if we can you know talk more about this uh, kedar gore if we can talk more about you know your concerns uh, in the overall picture because uh, pilibhit is a region that we do know that there is certain amount of conflict but yes young tigers you know do seek other territories this is this entire area is a tiger landscape and that and i think the main issue here is to create more awareness among villages uh, and villagers of how to behave in such situations and not aggravate or create more challenges for the forest department that is attempting to tranquilize the animal well uh, i agree with what uh, dr arjun swami has said uh, it is it is the issue of land use uh, which is next to a tiger reserve uh, now any such area where we have uh, you know tigers breeding in tiger reserves it needs to have some kind of a buffer forest it needs to have some connectivity to uh, another forest area so that the tigers can disperse uh, probably without using uh human uh, use areas uh, but this doesn't seem to be happening in many of the cases and obviously not in case of pilibhit which is surrounded by villages and sugarcane fields and we have had a history of uh, tigers uh, uh, you know inhabiting the sugarcane fields and a lot of human wildlife conflict and human tiger conflicts happening in this place so it is it is a cause of worry and uh, managing crowds is something uh, easier said than done uh, although there may be sops in place but following it in letter and spirit even if someone wants to it's extremely difficult because when people uh, start building up the pressure and somebody in the crowd is uh, in the in the past may be affected due to any kind of tiger attack or he, he or she has lost his uh, livestock to tigers there always is an anger in 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 his mind in her mind and they they always can can this anger can flare up in such situations so thank goodness uh, the forest department was successful uh, in in tranquilizing this tiger and taking it back uh, we we must uh, understand as overall context and how this has happened why this has happened uh, but it there cannot be uh, any any uh, straight forward so- solution because such things can happen in future as well we just need right. to be very careful and cautious about it and the coordination between other departments police especially has to be extremely good
in managing the crowd. That's right. Thanks so much uh, both for joining us, you know, on the program. And uh, and this is an issue, as you know, the expert said, is something that we're dealing with more and more around Tiger Parks. There you can see the Forest Department after having tranquilized the animal and they're trying to, you know, put it into the cage. Now, uh, w again, just to reiterate what happened here is the tiger uh, that was probably moving uh, from the Pilibhit uh, Tiger Reserve to another part, uh, you know, came, uh, entered this village and then was seen there overnight and then was sitting on this uh, brick wall as you can see massive crowds uh, gathered there the forest department also moving in and finally tranquilizing the animal but as you can see it's a very delicate operation uh, the the forest department thought the tiger was down but then again it's gotten up this is after it was tranquilized they moved in that cage to you know put the tiger into it however the tiger then got up again and this is when sometimes forest department officials also get injured in this entire exercise uh, but uh, for the moment what we do know is the animal has been tranquilized and taken away by the forest department